guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a review i'm going to be doing my official review on the fate links saga series by netflix growing up i absolutely adored the show me and my sister would watch it all the time we had the dolls we were just obsessed and so when i heard that the show was going to be adapted i got really really excited i couldn't wait to see my favorite cartoon turned into a live action um so I did watch the show and I have a lot of thoughts. Um, so if you want to hear them, just keep watching. All right, guys. So I'm going to quickly give you a little brief on um, the Winx Club in general, just the, sh the original show. Um, the Winx Club was a very popular cartoon, Italian cartoon that made its way to North America. It was one of my very favorite shows growing up as a young girl. Um, the In the briefest way possible, I guess I would say that it was about a a group of girlfriends who were also fairies who had magical powers who went to a magical school and they fought bad guys like bad creatures witches um and evil people and basically it was just this fantasy land that you could get lost into and it had great fashion friendship um and these beautiful girls that you just would watch and want to be like and um if you want to go and do a little bit more research about the original show if you don't know anything about it you can i will leave a link to a video that i found online on youtube that i really liked it, it kind of goes a little bit more in depth about the show and its origins and just how much it's changed over the years because it's still running today um if you want to watch that but i think for this video i'm just going to stick to the adaptation so without further ado let's start all right guys so before i get into just kind of analyzing and dissecting the uh, adaptation I quickly want to say that this will have spoilers in it i don't usually do reviews with spoilers in them um but i really want to try to pick at every single point and I just feel like it's easier if I just spoil it so if you're going to watch the show or hoping to watch the show this might not be the video to watch but other than that let's start um so the show opens up with Bloom and she's attending Althea and um Althea is a college so I'm going to say college because on Instagram on the um Instagram account for the show the official account it does say Alfia College but in the show they reference all the girls to be teenagers or everyone to be teenagers or they say a bunch of kids in the show and so I'm guessing they're all like 16 17 and that's kind of the age range that they're dealing with but for some reason they labeled it Alfia College I don't know why but that's just how it is so I'm assuming they're in like high school ages um so it opens up with Bloom going to um Alfia and she gets she goes there because she started a house fire with her magic that she doesn't know how to control and she's going to Alfia to learn how to control it how to harness it how to use it in general um she's from earth she's the outsider and she didn't grow up with fairy parents um when she gets to the school she meets with the headmistress and she quickly finds out so does the audience that these fairies don't have the ability to have wings anymore um and uh we basically just see bloom kind of um adjusting to her new normal um she gets a tour with stella and stella is one of the winks the original characters she um so the first thing i noticed watching the show was how um bitchy stella is stella was not like that in the original show um in fact when i was watching with my mom the first thing she noticed actually with the interaction with all the girls was just how mean they were to each other how like standoffish they were um and my mom used to watch the show with us when we were kids and because it was the only thing on that's all we would watch and um so she kind of got invested in the show too and she kind of quickly realized like why are these girls being so mean to each other because that's not how they were in the cartoon um so we see bloom she meets the rest of her sweet mates she gets a tour with stella and she is adjusting to this new normal she's lying to her parents her uh the parents that raised her uh, i'm gonna get into that uh about where exactly she is because she's in a magical land that her parents have no idea exists um and she is basically adjusting to her life she is learning how she's just wanting to learn how to use her magic and wanting to understand how to control it 
Once Bloom makes it to her suite, she meets her other roommates, Tara, Aisha, and Musa. Um, and the first thing I'm going to mention about the girls, like I said, was just how distant and how cool they were towards each other. Um, Stella was kind of mean and kind of bitchy. And in the cartoon, Stella was a brat, kind of, but she wasn't a bitch. She wasn't rude. She wasn't mean. She was quite warm, like the sun. Um, her um, her power is light, or in the cartoon, it was the sun and the moon and the light, I guess. And from and she just kind of played that mean, kind of bitchy girl in the group. Um, they described Bloom as kind of an introvert. So she was, she's kind of standoffish, kind of in her own zone, trying to figure out her own problems. And Musa is the um, empath of the group. And so she um, tries to shut off all of everyone else's kind of emotions because she's so easily can hear them or see them and so tries to isolate herself so she's not constantly bombarded by everybody else's emotions so it's kind of a very distant cool feeling to around with the girls they're not very um excited to say to say the least excited to be together um and I guess they did that to make the show a little bit more mature a little bit more I guess uh, edgier um in the show the girls were very happy kind of bubbly girls um but um in the original show but for this one a little bit distant um and a little bit it took a minute for them to get together but what i did notice is that um even at the end once they were able to kind of band together there was no like solidifying moment where they kind of bonded if that makes any sense um so yeah um but also while i'm on the topic of the girls the very obvious thing was in the cartoon, the girls are very diverse. There's very many def um, ethnicities in the girls. There is an Asian one, there is a Latina, there's a black, and there's a redhead and a blonde. Um, and um, there's even a techie one that they cut out completely. And that enraged a lot of diehard fans and really confused me, to be honest. I don't understand that decision. I don't understand why they decided to do that. The girls were you know, very diverse, perfectly diverse. All they had to do was find actresses that could play those roles. Um, you know, the um, Muse's character and Tara's character or Flora's character, um, Tara is kind of in Flora's position. They mentioned that she's a cousin of Flora's. I don't know if that's just... Uh, they did that so she could come in in a, a later season or if I actually heard somewhere was damage control where the girl that was, you know, hired to play Tara was originally Flora, but because of the backlash, they switched it to Tara. And I guess, I don't know, they plan on introducing a Flora later on. Who really knows? But the point is, um, they did not stay true to what the original girls look like. And I feel like... Um, I don't get it. I just don't understand, honestly. I don't get that choice. I don't understand why they would do something like that. Um, the girls were perfectly diverse before. They were great. Every, I feel like everyone could, every little girl had someone to identify to. And um, I don't know. I just, I don't get it. It kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, moving along. Okay, guys. So as the story progresses, it only gets more dramatic. Bloom actually finds out that she's a changeling, and that means um, a fairy baby that's switched with a human baby. Um, and she finds out that the people that raised her her whole life are not actually her parents. Um, and so it just kind of gets crazier. Um, she's in a new place. She doesn't know the people who raised her. She's trying to figure out where she came from, who she came from. Um, she's trying to figure out who she can trust, who will give her answers. And it's ultimately the season's about Bloom finding her way and figuring out who she is. Um, what I didn't really love about the show, I think I already mentioned, is just obviously the casting is the first thing that I would change completely. I really don't understand, like I mentioned, why they didn't stick to the true, um, you know, casting, but I'm not back in this. I'm just going to put that to the side. Um, like I also said, I didn't really love how much 
um, hostility, there, the hostility there was between the girls. Um, but again, I think that was in their attempt to make the show um, more mature, um, to kind of be able to reach a more, you know, a, an, an older audience. Um, because the girls in the cartoon are obviously bubbly and fun and very warm towards each other. Um, and that is more geared towards teens and tweens and a little bit younger. Um, so I think that's why they did that. I also don't quite love that Aisha's story wasn't really talked about much. We don't really know much about her, where she comes from, who she comes from, anything about her parents. She kind of took on this mother hen kind of role. Um, she kind of babysits Bloom for a lot of the show and I didn't quite enjoy that. I found we got to learn about Stella's, you know, background, uh, Tara's background, a little bit about Musa and we know a shit ton about Bloom or we, yeah, we know a lot about Bloom and we're figuring out more about Bloom because the fo it follows her. But we didn't get anything about um, Aisha, which is kind of strange to me. Um, all we really know is that she's a water fairy and that she likes to swim. Other than that, um, she's kind of just like the responsible one. Again, she takes on the mother hen role, kind of um, always babysitting Bloom. And I don't know why they did that with her character. Um, I, I love, you know, Aisha in the cartoon is a powerful, strong princess in her own right. Um, so I don't quite understand why they did that with her character. Or they wrote it that way. Um, uh, another thing I didn't like about the show was the love triangle or the relationships in general. Um, so first I'll start with the love triangle between Stella, Bloom, and Skye. There isn't supposed to be one. Um, I don't know why they took Brandon out of the show. Um, I wish he was in the show. I don't know, maybe he will be introduced later on in the show. Um, in fact, I actually thought um, they were going to kill off the Sam guy and then later on introduce Brandon maybe um, I don't know in the in the next season they'll introduce him I don't know if it's like a budgeting thing they can't hire too many actors I honestly thought they were going to kill off him and then let Musa be with Riven and then I don't know again the whole Musa and Riven thing that's annoying I really had my heart set on the original romances being the way they were um, I am really interested in kind of seeing or learning more about Riven and why he is the way he is because I did mention, um, you know, t there's that scene where Tara and between Tara and Riven where he she mentions that he was kind of a nerd first year in the first year and now he's kind of like this jackass bad boy kind of thing. Um, so I'd like to learn more about him him and just kind of see where they're going to take that character. Um, I really do want to see him and Musa together. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, like I said, the love triangle, I don't understand it. I don't like it. I'm quite happy it ended. Um, I think they are going to introduce Brandon. I did hear from a few of you guys actually from my last video that they're we're gonna, they, they are gonna introduce a Brandon later on. I don't know. Um, I hope they do because I feel like Stella and Brandon are the match. Um, but yeah, that is, um, I didn't like that. The relationships need work, basically. Um, what else did I not like? Ah, uh, the fashion. The fashion is probably the, ugh, oh, the fashion, you guys. I, it's ugly it's ugly 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 I didn't like any of it I didn't like at all I just remember the Winx girls being so fashion fashionable each of the girls wore things that reflected their personality they were so fashion forward I remember I wanted to be you know like them and and I wanted they were so just beautiful and fashionable and cute and fun and in this in this show they were drab 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 I don't know what or who dressed them but I did not like it any bit of it they it's just I think in their attempt to make the show darker they just made and again I understand they were in I think it was Scotland you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments so it might have been colder there but they were just in very frumpy clothes it didn't look good they were always putting bloom in red everything we understand she's a fire fairy she has red hair it's enough it's okay we don't need to see her in red all the time um i just i don't i don't know 
who dress them. I don't understand. Um, yeah, I just didn't like the fashion at all. Um, I would really, really like there to be a lot of changes in season two. Um, I think I might watch season two just to see what they change or if they change anything. Um, the way they ended the show. I will say though, um, the show definitely gets more interesting as you keep watching it. It very, it's a very, it picks up is basically what I mean. So it definitely picks up, it gets more interesting and you get kind of more invested. But um, all in all, if you are a fan of like Riverdale and like, you know, Charmed and things like that, you will love this show. This show's for you. But if you are a diehard Winx fan, you are going to be kind of disappointed. I don't really quite understand why they even bothered calling it Winx. Actually, I do know. It's because of the nostalgia and they wanted the clout that came with the name Winx. Um, they, if they had just made this a fairy, a show about fairies, I would have been fine. I would have been okay with that but they had to go and put the, the name Winx on it and it kind of just got a lot of people's hopes up it got a lot of people excited and I just I don't know I, I didn't it didn't do it for me it really didn't do it for me um also they did do transformation at the end I truthfully I thought that there was going to be um I thought that there was going to be like this outfit transformation she did have wings at the end um I don't know why. I guess they're going to, in the show, they'll later on show the other girls get wings as well. Um, that's what I'm just assuming in my mind how they're going to do it. I don't think she'll be the only one to have wings. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens, I guess. If, if Even if I try to continue watching the show, I am quite interested to see, like, just where it picks up, though. Um, Beatrix I found to I didn't hate her I didn't not like her so I am interested actually to see just how her story unfolds I'd like to learn more about um you know her town and where she came from and just kind of like her story a little bit more um it did sound interesting when she was explaining it to Bloom and just how her city burnt down how they burnt down her city and um yeah I I really do want more of the girls stories to unfold um of course the first season i guess is just about bloom and it's it's just following bloom in general um but i i don't know i don't know i really kind of just was expecting more i think it was lazily done if the show was done for um the winx fans specifically i'm disappointed um because I just don't think it was done well for the Winx fans. Now, if you're coming into this and watching it with a blank canvas and you're just watching it as someone who likes, you know, fantasy shows and um, shows with magic in it, if you like Charmed or if you like Riverdale, Riverdale, <laughs> Riverdale, um, this will be the show for you for sure. But for me, I just had more high expectations. They could have at least, at least given uh, Bloom her bunny, um, I would have liked for them to at least give her her bunny. Of course, the bunny's not going to follow her around. I believe her bunny's name was Kyoko. Correct me if I'm wrong, if, I, if my memory is not right. I think it was Kyoko, um, but I could be wrong. But they could have at least given her a bunny. She was an introvert. She could have had a pet, a friend, you know, um, who she brought with her to Althea. I don't really know why they didn't add those little touches just for the people who love the show. You're using the name for its clout. At least satisfy the people. Um, I, I really hope they do also introduce Daphne. Um, I really want to see Daphne and kind of have her reach out to Bloom and have that whole thing because that was a huge part of the show and it was a huge part of Bloom figuring out who she was so I really really hope that's added in the show I really would have liked if they add that added that um in the first season it would have been good but they didn't um but yeah like overall like I said if you're into the you know CW shows you know Riverdale Charmed Legacies this will definitely be the show for you um I'm definitely on this ride for the nostalgia um, but I don't know if I'm going to get off yet. I feel like there's a part of me that wants to keep watching to see if it improves in any way. Um, but then there's a part of me that's just like, eh, 
Like honestly, for me, I don't know. I also would have, you know, to be honest, to change something else, I would have also made the girls older, in my opinion. I would have, um, to reach, you know, your, I mean, they should know their audience now is like in their 20s. They would have, you know, if they had made the girls all in university, I know it says Alfia College, but they talk about them like they're teenagers. If they had made them all in university, call it Alfia University, um, and kind of scaled up the age of the girls, I think it would have made it feel a little bit more mature in that way. Um, I don't know. I just, I feel like there were, I feel like there, I know it can be difficult to um, adapt children's um, shows, cartoons or whatever, but I there are ways to do it the right way. And I think they kind of went about it the wrong way, if that makes any sense. Um, I am going to try to watch to see what happens. Uh, but honestly, I don't know. They have been picked up. Uh, apparently, they were picked up for a second season even before the first one aired. So they were hella confident. Um, but we will see. We will see what happens. Um, that's pretty much everything for this review, you guys. I Hey guys, so um, my camera totally cut out, but I hope I talked or touched every point that I wanted to. I may have missed some stuff, um, but I think I got the gist of it. Um, let me know how you guys feel about the show. Let me know if you liked it, if you didn't like it, what you liked about it. Um, and just like, let's talk about it in the comments. I mean, I... I'm sure all of you guys have opinions about what they did with the show. Um, but yeah, let's talk in the comments. Um, please give this video a like if you want to see more reviews. Please make sure to subscribe because it really does help me out. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!